Hello my dear students welcome back to Prudence Coaching English class here you will get ICSE CVSE and WBBS E solutions of all subjects as usual today also we came up with an important chapter that is wolf children 2 here you will get the best explanation ever you will see the line by line explanation of the particular chapter so let's start with the topic The reverend singh continued to dig and dig and eventually his efforts revealed a pathetic sight for trembling creature lay in a ball of fur and hair so what happened as we found in the old children one here also we see reverend singh continued to dig and suddenly what happened it revealed or it brought out a pathetic sight pathetic means the sight which will cause a feeling of sadness in mind so what was the pathetic sight for trembling means shaking or quivering with fear creature lay in a ball of fur and hair so what happened four frightened animals or creature was laying in a ball of fur and hair the ball was made up of two wolf cubs and two little girls sing had never seen children like this before they were almost unrecognizable as human beings they snarled and beat his hand as he tried to separate them from the cubs so as you can see when the Reverend Singh had completed digging that time he saw that there were two wolf cubs along with two little girls and the children that is two little girls were such that that they were not at all recognizable means we cannot understand that they were human beings they snarled and beat his hand as he tried to separate them from the cubs here snarled means to make an aggressive growl with bare teeth even they had bitten his hand as he tried to separate them from the wolf cubs next singh took the two girls to the orphanage at midnapur his wife who helped run the orphanage could hardly believe her eyes as she watched the wolf children so after this when mr singh took this to girls to the orphanage at midnapur where his wife used to look after that orphanage by seeing this to girls she was unable to believe her eyes as she watched this to wolf children both had thick rough skin on their hands knees and elbows because they moved on all fours when they wanted to go a short way they used their knees and elbows but when they wanted to run they would travel using their hands and feet these children who used to live with the wolf they had thick rough skin on their hands knees and elbows because they used their hands and legs for walking means all together they used to use all the four limbs now when they wanted to go short distance they used their knees and elbows but for going or running they used to use their hands and feet therefore for their skin was rough mrs singh gave them each a dish of milk which they lapped up with their tongues when she tried to touch them they growled and snapped at her hand so after mrs singh gave them each a dish of milk they had eaten like an animal as you can see in the picture when she tried to touch them that time they growled means that they were very angry and tried to hurt her in her hand the girls were given the names kamala and amala kamala means lotus flower and amala means bright yellow flowers so here in this paragraph we find that two girls were given their names one was named as kamala which means lotus flower and another was named as amala which means bright yellow flower it was clear that kamala was several years older than amala 
and Mrs. Singh guessed that Kamala must be about eight years old. So from this paragraph, we get to know that Kamala was elder than Amala and according to Mrs. Singh, she may be eight years old. Means Kamala must be eight years old. Next, the Singhs had no way of telling whether the two girls were sisters or not. And they had no idea how they had come to live with the wolves. It seemed a miracle that they had survived in jungle for so long. So from this particular paragraph, we get to know that the Singhs, means Reverend Singh and his wife, had no idea whether these girls were sisters or not. And even they did not know how they come to live together with the wolves and how they are alive in the jungle for this long time. The Reverend Singh decided that the discovery of the children should be kept a secret. His wife agreed that this was the best for the girls. So from this particular paragraph we get to know that Reverend Singh has taken an idea to keep the discovery of these children a secret so that it will be best for them and this was also agreed by his wife. It was a secret that the Singhs were not able to keep for long. When Mrs. Singh tried to give the girls their first bath, the orphanage echoed with their house. Soon, talk of wolf children spread through Midnapur. So it is clear from this particular paragraph that Reverend Singh and his wife were not able to keep this cigarette for long because when Mrs. Singh tried to give them their first bath, they howled, means they were shouting and their echo of shouting spread throughout the orphanage and thus this news spread through the Midnapur and everyone knew about this cigarette. The first lesson that Amala and Kamala had to learn was that they were not wolves. This was far more difficult than Mrs. Singh had imagined. Although she deliberately played with other children in front of Amala and Kamala, she could not get the wolf girls to behave like humans. From this particular paragraph, it is clear that as the children that is Amala and Kamala used to stay or live with the wolf children therefore they used to behave like the wolves. So here the first lesson which they should learn is to behave like humans but they were not able to behave like humans and according to Mrs. Singh as imagined by her it was very difficult to make them understand that they are human and they should behave like human. For that, she used to deliberately, means intentionally, she used to play with the other children in front of them so that the children, that is Amala and Kamala, behave like humans. For weeks, they ignored the games and laughter of the children. Instead, they preferred to crouch in the shade or stand motionless with their faces to the wall. Only at night they become active. They would howl eerily or hurl themselves at the wall in an attempt to escape. So for weeks this goes on but no effects were seen in the behavior of Amala and Kamala. They used to stay or crouch in shade or stand motionless and they used to face the wall instead of seeing the children playing. Only at night they become active as wolf play at night. So here also they used to get active at night and they used to try to escape by jumping onto the wall of the orphanage. They would only feed like wild animals, taking raw meat and liquids which they would eat and drink in a crouching position. Here crouch means to squat down on the balls of the feet with knees bent and body hunched over. As you can see in the picture, that is the position in which the animals like wolves or other animals eat. Next, when Mrs. Singh gave Amala and Kamala toys to play with, they simply chewed them if they were bones. So they used to treat the toys given by Mrs. Singh like bones and they used to just chew them as they used to do in the jungle or the forest where they used to live with the wolf children. 
whenever people were near them they snarled and arched their backs shaking their heads backward and forward so whenever people used to come to them for talking or for anything then they used to attack them or behave in different manner like animals one little orphan boy tried to make friends with the wolf girls when they decided to play with him they treated him like a wolf cub mrs singh had to rush over and rescue him from the their playful attack so as they used to play with the wolves in the jungle so in the same manner when one of the little orphan boy came with them to play that time they treated in same way and they were attacking and playing with that particular boy but when they were playing like this in this playful attack manner mrs singh had to rush over and rescue the boy from them educating the girls became a big problem even after months in the orphanage no progress had been made it was clear that the girls did not think like humans for them it was more natural to behave like wolves from this particular paragraph we get to know that mrs singh and mr singh tried to educate them but even after month no progress was seen in their behavior or in their learnings for them it was very natural to behave like wolves than behaving like human beings then both girls fell seriously ill and sadly amala died of kidney disease on september 21 1921 for kamala the younger wolf girl's death was a terrible setback she howled for many days and refused to eat all she would do was sneak was sneak round for amala's scent scent so so this paragraph you get to know that these two girls were seriously ill and sadly amala the younger one died because of kidney disease on september 21st 1921 after this kamala the elder one was very shocked and she was such terribly shocked that she used to howl always and she used to refuse to eat anything and she used to sniff for the scent of the younger one that is amala sniff means to take this uh, scent from the nose as you can see many animals doing for searching something gradually kamala turned to mrs singh and slowly began to respond to the woman's patience and kindness at last she started to eat cooked meat and the day came when she made her first human sound from this particular paragraph we get to know that after many days kamala used to respond to the kindness and the patience of mrs singh means she was loving or having a faith on mrs singh and, and we also find here that kamala started eating cooked meat and she also made her first human sound mrs singh massaged kamala's thin legs every day this was done for that kamala could stand upright early in 1922 she could walk on her knees and a few months afterwards rose up on her two legs for the first time so from this paragraph we get to know mrs singh used to massage kamala's thin leg every day and for this reason could stand upright means straight early in 1922 she could walk on her knees and after few months she could stand on her two legs for the first time it was a wonderful moment for mrs singh who had patiently spent hours with kamala the reverend singh was also delighted he held out his arms like a proud father as kamala took her first few faltering steps so here we get to know that after this mrs singh was very proud and as she used to spend many hours patiently with kamala so he uh, she was going through a wonderful moments on the other hand the reverend singh felt like a proud father when he was holding out his arms for holding kamala when she was taking few faltering steps faltering means not having so much strength mrs singh was pleased with kamala for another reason she could see from kamala's expression that she was happy to have pleased the reverend singh no longer was see the terrified wolf children so what happened after this 
Mrs. Singh was very pleased because Kamala's behavior was changed and she was misfeeling the pleasant attitude of his father that is the reverend singh as reverend singh was thinking or he was proud for his child similarly kamala also was happy by seeing reverend singh. so now kamala started behaving like human being now kamala began to trust humans she would bound towards mrs singh when it was time for her to have her milk and she would enjoy rides on the swing. She became used to wearing a dress and she tried to learn to speak. So here we get to know that now Kamala started trusting human beings and she used to turn towards Mrs. Singh for her needs like for her milk egg even she used to love rides on swing and she became used to wearing dress and even she started trying to learn how to speak. Kamala understood most of the things that were said to her, but she spoke very little herself. Even so, she managed by 1929 to learn about 50 words. So here we get to know that she used to speak less, but she would understand everything, most of the things spoke to her. And like this, she learned about 50 words by 1929. In the orphanage garden, she started talking to the flowers and animals. When she thought nobody could hear, she would sing lots of little phrases. For hours, she would sing away to her audience of chickens, goats, puppies and trees. So here we get to know now this Kamala is familiar with the trees. Chickens, goats, puppies, trees means she used to go to the garden and speak with them. And for hours she used to sing the phrases to let the audience hear to her song. Then Mrs. Singh was forced to leave the orphanage for several weeks. Her aunt was seriously ill. Kamala could not understand why Mrs. Singh had left her. For two weeks, she went back to her old ways. So here we get to know as Mrs. Singh's aunt was seriously ill, she had to leave the orphanage for several weeks. But Kamala could not understand anything and she went back to her previous ways means she started behaving like wolf children for two weeks. She sat in a dark corner swaying backward and forward. She refused her food. She stopped singing to herself. So here all these things were resembling the previous state of this child that is Kamala. She was swaying backward and forward like the wolf children even she started refusing the food and she stopped singing to herself as Mrs. Singh left the orphanage. At last Mrs. Singh returned. Quick Kamala, Mama has come back. Someone cried. The words acted like magic. Kamala ran to greet Mrs. Singh. Both were overjoyed to see each other. So here we get to know when Mrs. Singh returned, someone said Kamala about this. And Kamala was very happy. Even Mrs. Singh was overjoyed to see Kamala and these words acted like magic. When Kamala heard the news that her mama has returned, Kamala refused to let go of Mrs. Singh's hand for the rest of the day. So rest of the day, Kamala was holding Mrs. Singh's hand and she refused to let her go anywhere. That night, the Reverend Singh sat in his study writing up his notes. As he finished writing, he smiled to himself. Kamala had learned something more important than how to walk and talk. She had learned how to love a human being. So here we get to know that Ravana Singh was sitting in his study room writing his notes. And after he finished writing, he smiled. And he realized that Kamala has learned something more than how to walk and talk. She had learned how to love human being. On November 14, 1929, Kamala died, as Amala had done of kidney failure. She was greatly mourned by the Singhs and the rest of the children in the orphanage. So what happened? In the similar manner as Amala died, Kamala also died on 14 November 1929 because of kidney failure. And because of her death, everyone was mourned, especially 
Mrs. Singh and Mr. Singh along with the children in the orphanage. My dear students, I hope this particular story was very heart touching for you all. And my dear students, this particular story is adapted by Mike Samuda. So all my dear students with this we come to the end of this particular topic if you find the content of this video helpful then like share subscribe this channel also click on the bell icon to get regular update from this particular channel students take care of yourself study well and study with fun with prudence coaching english class bye bye students